Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today, inshallah, our lesson about how to add a style code and script code inside the HTML page. Okay, number one, add here a HTML file. For example, my index, my index dot HTML page. Okay, then here inside the page, collapse now the explorer, click here and write the basic element in the HTML, the basic element here, doc. Okay, now inside the HTML page, I'll add here the first code, for example, for add button and text box, for example. Here, button, okay, and right here, please click here. Okay, like this. Now display my page like this. That's my button without any CSS code, just HTML code. Okay, now to add a CSS code, I have to wait in an external file or I can add the CSS code inside the HTML page. Number one, click inside the opening tag of the pattern here, not outside, not here, no, in the side opening tag. Take space and write style. Style equal, and between double quotation, now I add the CSS code. For example, I want to, do, to change the background of this pattern. The background here, is gray and the four color or the font color black. Now the background of the pattern will be yellow or red, makes the background red color, and the font color will be yellow. Okay. Now change the CSS code style equal and between double quotation write background color. For example, equal red. Now I add the first property. This is a property name. Here, a property is background color and its value. Okay, here it is a property right here. Property. Property name here is background color and its value. is color okay red property background then add two points like this then red and at the end i have to add semicolon semicolon this one now to add another property now i change it the background the color okay look now Refresh the page. I changed the background color for the pattern. Okay. Now to change the uh, font color, font color. To change the font color, I have to use the color property. Okay. Now this is a semicolon. After the semicolon here, take space, then write color. Okay. Here, two points, and write the value here. For example, the color or the font color will be yellow, for example, like this, or white. Okay, now the same thing. Color, it's a property, two point, then white this is a value, then semicolon at the end of that statement. Okay, now back to the page and see. Here, make refresh for the page. Now, the background, red, and the font color, white. The background, red, and the font font color, white. Okay? Now, I want to make the font bold. Bold, okay? Or italic. I have to add another.
property. Okay, now here's this drawing. To add, for example, uh, change the, the font to bold. Okay, so I can write font weight, font weight property, this font. Okay, if I want to add something, you have to make like this. Control space from the keyboard after the semicolon here in this position, in this position. And control space to display this menu. And write the property. Again, click here beside the semicolon and control space. Now, right, I want to add font weight. Font weight. Okay, font weight, yeah. Bold, bolder, lighter, normal. I have more, okay? Bold, for example. Now, back to the page. Now, refresh the page. Become bold now. Okay. The font size inside the pattern. The font size here, and the font. Complete font size. Now, the last, the next one. And for example, I add 30, 30 pixel. Okay, now back to the page, refresh, okay. Now it become bigger because I changed the font size. Okay, so to add a style code or CSS code inside the opening tag, as you see here, it is my pattern. Okay, this is the opening tag. All of them, the opening tag, yeah. And we added the CSS code inside the opening tag. Inside the opening tag. Then write the text that will, that will display on the pattern. Then close the, uh, the pattern. The opening tag, style code, okay, still opening tag, then closing tag. And between them, the text that will display on the button. Okay, now I want to add another control, for example, here, text box or input. Input. Okay, for example, input uh, text for email, for example, okay, to add an email. Take care, please. Here, a type email, okay? And there's something here, like placeholder, instead of name now, I'll make name now, and write placeholder. To write a gray text inside the input, okay? Again, here, input, type, email, and placeholder. What is the job of placeholder? Now, if you go to the page and refresh, in a text box, ordinary text box, okay? But I want to add here, enter your email, please. Enter your email, for example, here, there is nothing here. I want add here, enter your email in a gray color. Okay, here, I have to add a placeholder and between equal between double quotation, please. Enter your email. Like this. Now save and back to the page and refresh the page now. Please enter your email. Okay. If I start to write like this, my email. Oh, there is nothing. Okay. At Gmail, for example. That's my email. Okay. If I Remove this text, the placeholder will display, please enter your email. If I add any letter, the placeholder will disappear. Okay, so a placeholder here as a hint for, for the user, as a hint for the user to know what will insert inside this text box. Okay, this attribute is placeholder, placeholder. Okay. Now I want to I want to add here a style for the input. 
the same thing, the same thing. Add here style, for example, for example here font size, the same font size here, 30 pixel, 30 pixel. Okay, and the font color, for example, blue. Okay, now refresh the page to accept here the change, here. the same font. Okay, 30 pixel. Now the font color, black. I want to change the font color from black to blue. Here, add color. Okay, select color, then choose blue. Okay, now back to the page and refresh. Now, if I insert here something, for example, look, it's a blue color, blue color. Okay. Okay, if I remove the text, the placeholder will display, please enter your email. Okay, thank you.